So in this video, we're gonna create the real-time notification functionality for our chat app. So let me demonstrate it real quick. So I've logged in with Jane Doe over here and I've logged in with John Doe over here. So if I go to the John Doe's chat and if I say, how are you? And notice we are not inside of the Jane Doe's chat. Okay, so then notice what's gonna happen. If I send this, then we're gonna receive a notification over here. That new message from Jane Doe. And if I click on it, you're gonna see that notification goes away and we are redirected to the chat. But this will not be the case if we are sending the message directly. Yep, you see, no, we didn't receive the notification if we sent the message and the chat was opened. So this is what we are going to create in today's video. So if you're not yet following this playlist, click the link in the description to access the complete playlist for this Mern Stack chat application. Okay, so cool, let me just close this up. And here we have our project folder opened. First thing that I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go inside of, let, let me first start our app so that later we don't have to. So npm start, I've started the server and I'm gonna open another terminal and switch to front end and npm start. Okay, cool. So meanwhile, starting, let's go to the context and I'm gonna create a global state for notifications. So use state and by default, this will be an empty array. Let's take this and send this to our app. Just like that. Okay, let me close this context API and let's go to singlechat.js where our main logic will lie. So here, if you remember inside of this use effect over here, um, yep, over here, we checked if any chat is selected or if the selected chat is not equal to the message that is re being received from the server. So if both of these cases are not true, then obviously we are supposed to give a notification. So let's create this logic. I'm gonna remove this comment now and I'm gonna check. Oh, first of all, let me just uh, import those states that we just created. So from our chat state, just like this. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna check if the notifications that are already there, so notification does not include the not the message that is coming in. So includes, so if the notification array doesn't include the new message received, this one, the new message received, then what we're gonna do, we're just gonna add this new message received to the notification array. So I'm gonna say set notification to new message received and I'm gonna spread the remaining notifications. Okay, and after we have received a notification, I also want to update uh, the list of our chat so that the latest message is updated accordingly. So I'm gonna say set fetch again to not fetch again so that uh, you, I, I believe you remember what the logic was behind this. I'm not going to go again in that logic. So this will fetch all of the chats again. And that's pretty much it. Let's open our app and test it out. Of course, we don't have the UI for notification right now, but okay, our app is still opening. Let's wait. There's our app. Let me open another window and log in with another user. Cool, let's make sure if our message sending functionality is working correctly or not. So, okay, this is Jane Doe. We say hi and there we go we received the message and you might have noticed the typing indicator there as well so so we made this in our previous video so now if i go back uh, inside of this jane doe id and let's open the inspect then we should receive the notification for every new message we haven't logged the, no not the notifications yet my bad so let me just notification and I'm just gonna add something so we can recognize this console log and let me remove any other console log if there's uh, yeah, just like this. Let me remove this one and any other console log. Console, okay, this one as well. I'm gonna remove it. What else? Messages, nope. Okay, so now we only have this notification console log. Let's, let's test it out. So this time I'm gonna send the message from Jane Doe's ID I'm gonna say, oops, let me open the console. 
testing uh, gain. And yep, you see, we got a notification over here. Yep, awesome. So this is what we needed exactly. Cool. So let's implement this thing in our UI. By clicking on this button, this should display a notification. Let me remove this console log. And now I'm gonna go to miscellaneous side drawer. That is our header component. So now, first of all, I'm gonna get both of those states from our chat state. Just like this. And now I'm gonna go down and I might have left some place. Yep, here. So here I'm gonna implement our notification. So inside of this, simply we are supposed to render all of the notifications. So first of all, let me, okay, fine. So I'm just gonna say, if notification is not there, if not notification dot length, then just say no new messages. All right. Let's see if this worked. Uh, it, okay, I think we have the notification right now. So let me refresh this now. Yep, no new messages. And I guess I'm gonna give this some padding left. Padding left of two. Let's refresh this if everything was working fine. Yep, cool. So now below this, if the notifications are there, then I'm gonna say notification dot map. And inside of it, I'm gonna give a menu item. As you might remember from our previous series, we have used this component before. And inside of this, I'm gonna simply first give the key because obviously it's needed for a map function. So key will be notification dot underscore ID. And now inside of it, I'm just gonna say this. So I'm gonna check. So if this is for a group chat, so notification dot chat dot is group chat then we're gonna just display the name of the chat so obviously you might remember that in the case of group chat we just give the name but in case of a sender we give the key the placeholder sender and then we later use a function called get sender to know what the name of the actual sender is so new message in then the name of the group. So I'm just gonna give a template string. Oops, where did this came from? New message in notification dot chat dot chat name. Cool. But if this is from a sender, I mean from a one on one chat, so I'm gonna say new message from the name of the sender. So which will be using this function right here if you don't remember let me show you again inside of the config chat logics.js this get sender function so i'm gonna say get sender and import it let's see yep it's imported then inside of it i'm gonna give the user and then the list of the users so notification dot chat dot users Okay, I guess hopefully everything should work fine. Let's check it out. So here we have both of the chats opened. Let me send a message from Jane Doe. Hi. Okay, it went. And yep, yeah, you see new message from guest user. If we click on it, it's gonna. Oh, okay, we haven't added that functionality yet. To click on this and this should redirect us to the chat. So over here on click and also we should display a indicator or something so that whenever we receive a notification we should see that indicator so on click i'm just gonna say set selected chat to be notification dot chat and i'm gonna remove that particular notification from our array of notification so i'm just gonna filter it out so just like this set notification and notification dot filter and if it's not equal to notification, then don't return it. So this will filter out that notification and remove it. Okay, let's check it out. 
So if I click on it, yep, we are redirected to the guest users chat. Now let's work on adding an indicator over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install something called React Notification Badge Dependency. So this is the one. So yeah, you see, we will get this, these sort of animated badges. So I'm gonna go over here and open another terminal and install npm install react notification badge. Oops, my bad. Uh, I was supposed to install it in the front end. So CD front end. And now let me install it. Now let's see how we can use that thing. So meanwhile, this is getting installed. I'm gonna go over um, here. Yep, we're gonna display it right over here. So I'm gonna import notification badge. And this will take the count of the notification. So count will be obviously notification dot length, whatever notification that we have. And then it's gonna take an effect. So if you can find all obviously this effect thing in the documentation, it, you'll find the clear instructions for that. But I'm just telling you it takes a bunch of effects or like any effects that you wanna give this. So let me import this, I guess this is installed now. Um, import. Hmm. So now let me import this just like that. And instead of here, we will import something called effect from react notification badge. And I'm going to use effect dot scale. So let me show you that this is an imported. Yep. This is imported and this is imported. Mm, what's this? Let me remove this line. Okay, cool. So let's test it out if this works or not. So again, I'm gonna let me refresh this uh, so that the chat is not opened anymore. Now let me try to send a message to the Jane Doe. Does this work? I think I misspelled that. And there we go. We have a notification badge over here. And if you click on it, it's going to go away and it's going to redirect us to the chat. So this is awesome. This is great. With this, we have successfully created our Mern stack chat application. Now, one more thing. These notifications are not persistent right now. These are obviously going to be only real time and not going to be stored in our database like our messages. So I'm giving you this homework. You have to create this feature in this app that store your notifications as well in the DB. And I'm not gonna tell you, you have to figure this out yourself. And also in our next video, we are going to deploy this app to Heroku so that you can share the link of your deployed app with your friends and family. So subscribe to the channel if you're excited for that video and also hit that like button if you like what you have built in this tutorial series. So thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.